What's up everybody, thanks for watching Car Inside. It's time for another qualifying breakdown as C-Fix heads to my home state of Virginia here at Richmond Raceway. This week's qualifying breakdown is brought to you by Bar Racing, which stands for Bobby Anderson Racing. He's the sponsor of this week's episode. You can check those guys out over on SRN, which is the Speed Racing Network, right here on YouTube. Their league starts back in October. They run all the fixed series across the NASCAR platforms, A, B, and C. Always recruiting and looking for new team members. Again, that is Bar Racing, Bobby Anderson racing and you can check them out right here on youtube srn speed racing network got a cool little announcement as well car inside now has a discord channel so go into the about me section of my youtube page click on that link for discord and hop in and be a part of the community had a couple suggestions uh, throughout the past couple weeks people wanting us to um, start this thing so we got it up and going. We'll see how it goes. And uh, if it takes off, then maybe something we stick with and start interacting with each other a little more. But as for this uh, week's qualifying breakdown goes, lap number one, kind of a throwaway lap. Just ran kind of nice and smooth through one and two, just building up temperature in those tires. Three and four coming to our hot lap, which will be on lap number two of the qualifying run. Just ease it in there. Kind of dime in the corner, somewhere around the Papa John's logo, this click list logo. Kind of work back down toward uh, the middle of the track, accelerate, build up some speed. Then you're going to be looking for here, you can see these little white lines on the wall. And you kind of watch the yellow marker here, but it's the second white line. This here is going to be our braking point. Right when you get to that, you're going to start braking, start turning in. And this white line, dotted white line here, you kind of want to straddle that. And then the next thing you're aiming for is this orange box. You want the left side tires to be approaching that yellow line. So you really want to wrap this yellow line and get the truck down to the bottom. You're really going to be dragging the brake. Then you're going to start looking for this, this section here. I'm, turn one and two, kind of looking... Uh, and in my mind, as I was going around, I was looking from uh, for yellow to yellow. As you see this yellow banner approach, you're kind of around the point where you're getting to the go, bo go bowling sign. Start picking up the throttle. As you pick up the throttle about halfway, looking for the next yellow sign. Whenever it gets in sight, that's kind of going to be your full throttle point. But you're really going to be managing the throttle. If you can wrap this yellow line, there's some extra banking around this point that really help the truck rotate. And you won't push up off the corner because you can really, it's easy to tear that wall down or get up out of the groove and the back end want to step out on you. Richmond has very slick exits in both turns one and turn two, uh, turns two and turns four. So you're looking for this, uh, looking for this other yellow banner and that's that's kind of relatively the point where that you're going to be able to pick the throttle up all the way it's not going to be exact but next thing you're looking for is this xfinity sign somewhere between the xfinity sign and this white marker here is going to be your point to okay so it's going to be the white marker here i'm actually picking up the brake slightly after the xfinity sign fully lift it's another one got to get down to the bottom got to wrap the bottom so as you're approaching, you're going to aim for this yellow line, and you want to be down to the yellow line by the end of this little safer barrier here. And then by the time you get to the Papa John's logo here, and this there it is again, the yellow banner, it's kind of where you're going to pick up the throttle, and you got to be really patient on the throttle for three and four. About halfway, and then the Geico sign here is going to be around the area where you can pick the throttle back up. Drop up off the corner. 21.932. I feel like I could easily, well, I won't say easily, but I feel like that it'd be possible to get down uh, 21.8s. Uh, my all-time best lap here at Richmond that I was kind of going by for this qualifying run was a 21.79. So I feel like, I don't know if that's reachable, but I think seeing an 8 come flash across the board could be obtainable this week. Richmond is a track that I typically tend to struggle at, so that type of hot lap out of me and that kind of consistency is probably out of the realm of possibility, but hopefully this lap will be something that um, is just a good little uh, standard bearer or something to uh, to go by and to help you guys learn, but Richmond, the biggest thing is going to be um, 
you really really want to watch your exits because they're going to be really slick so managing the throttle on your exits and not over rotating and making the rear end of the truck step out it's going to be very critical for this week in running this race here um, again slick exits that's that's the key to uh, in my mind that is the uh, that's the big thing to watch for this track um, for the qualifying breakdown for the qualifying run that I done I had a 12 to 1 steering ratio with a plus 5 degree offset 58% brake bias most likely whenever we go into race trim I'm probably going to be running a 14 to 1 that brake bias will probably remain the same I may bump that down to 57 um, and then kind of work with it as the run goes on depending on how how long green flag runs go I may you may see me venture down like you know in my offsets running uh, turning that down as the run goes on just and the tires start to wear but as always, I appreciate you guys watching Car Inside. If you would, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Jump over to Discord. Check out that community. Hit that link that's in the About Me section of my page. And we'll catch you guys next week.